It's so peaceful. Four for one ninety nine a month for well qualified lessees of competitive vehicles. Now, New York's number one news, Channel Seven Eyewitness News. It's the country's biggest and most famous party, and right now it's in full swing. The crossroads of the world tonight, Celebration Central. A million people partying in the streets, thousands of cops trying to keep them all safe. Good evening, everyone, at 11 o'clock on this New Year's Eve. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Shade Betterinwa. Less than an hour left in 2015. The view from Newscopter 7, wall-to-wall -wall people standing shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder for hours as they celebrate more security than ever before. Police tonight taking no chances. We have two reports tonight. We're going to begin with Iowa News reporter Darla Miles. She's in Times Square for us. Darla. Well, Bill, can you hear all the music? Look at all this scene. People take the party with them wherever they go. We're having a great time. It's a grand time. You got Happy New Year! Happy New Year! 2015! Happy New Year! Others may need a little help. Kind of tired, but we're okay. Girl, you gotta wake up! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see you do some running in place or some jumping jacks or something so you can stay uh, awake. I've been here all day. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are not having fun. It looks like they're asleep. What are you guys doing? You guys should be partying. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Well, it has been a long day, all cooped up, waiting for the ball to drop and to formally introduce 2016. So your whole leg here is asleep? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you take a break until the ball drops? I'm so sure I can't see. <laughs> this is perfect weather. Oh, my gosh. Can't blame the ice. It's not even cold. Hey. <laughs> too cold, too cold. <laughs> I bumped into Vanilla Ice, who was making his way on stage. Do you need like a backup dancer, like a beatbox or something? Show me what you got. I don't have anything. <laughs> you gotta dance. Come on, show me what you got. Oh. Oh. Shake a little. Shake okay, a little. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. See? Just a little move. That's all it takes. <laughs> and then there are those who couldn't hold in their New York anthem until midnight. Let's hear it for New York. Miles, thank you. New York cops calling Times Square tonight the safest place to be. A dramatic and palpable show of force tonight. And as our Tim Fleischer has been tweeting all night, some new ways to observe and patrol by police. He's spending this New Year's Eve with the NYPD. He's in Midtown. Tim. And Bill, 6,000 officers. The NYPD's manpower on this night is very, very strong, and many more at the ready at staging areas like this one. But tonight, Eyewitness News got a television exclusive, a look at several operations that we don't normally see. You might hear the NYPD's aviation unit, even catch a glimpse of it, hovering over a million Times Square revelers. But Eyewitness News saw firsthand how these officers will patrol this New Year's Eve. Detective Bruce Baver is the pilot in charge, and Officer Royston Charles is the tactical flight officer planning their overhead patrol. We have a bunch of ships up uh, patrolling different boroughs. They will pay close attention to sensitive sites like the George Washington Bridge and many other locations in northern Manhattan, the Bronx, and Staten Island. Their work is precision with a much greater perspective. We just look for anything that looks out of place, anything that doesn't belong. They also will fly the better part of the night. Their patrolling over Times Square also allows them a tactical advantage in the event of trouble. One unit you will not see are these officers with emergency services. They keep an eye on things high above the crowd. They don't disclose their location, yet their work is highly critical. Using binoculars and scopes, these officers are able to scan in greater detail portions of the Times Square crowd. 
up. They can pinpoint individuals who may be suspicious and call in heavily armed and highly trained members of the Critical Response Command. Throughout Times Square, as the excitement builds, officers are able to move freely among them, also gaining unseen intelligence. The new addition this year is this Bearcat, an anti-terrorist tool with ballistic protection against an active shooter. Also covering additional sensitive sites, numerous heavily armed Hercules units are moving constantly about the city. But high overhead, as revelers welcome in the new year, these officers and thousands more are making sure they are safe. Later in the evening, there will be a flight restriction over Manhattan. And having walked through Times Square among the, all the many, many officers and the many, many revelers, I have to tell you, I don't think I've ever seen or felt a safer place to be in. Reporting live in Midtown, Tim Fleischer, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Tim, thank you. Now to the weather, a mild night ushering in 2016. No rain, no snow, no extreme cold. A perfect evening for the million delirious revelers in Times Square. Meteorologist Amy Fries in for Lee Goldberg with her AccuWeather forecast. Amy, great start to 2016. Certainly looks that way. We're closing out uh, December 2015 as the warmest December on record and appropriately so when the ball drops temperatures well above average for this time of year. Right now looking at a beautiful shot down into the battery. You can see One World Trade and of course Empire State Building glistening and uh, glowing tonight. 42 degrees is what we have in Central Park. Temperatures are in the upper 30s north and west of the city. Only one spot of the freezing mark. Monticello. Everybody else looking pretty good. Now the clouds will clear about midnight. We should see more parts of the sky clearing up and so we'll call it just patchy clouds and 41 to ring in the new year. Coming up the calendar flips to January and it's going to feel like it. All details on those numbers coming up in the Accu weather seven-day forecast bill all right amy we'll see you in a few minutes thank you times square not the only place in new york city holding a big new year's eve party what a fiesta at luna park in coney island laser lights shining from the parachute jump and fireworks will go off at midnight there families enjoying free rides on the b, &B carousel and the thunderbolt roller coaster well, it's already 2016 in much of the world. Here's a look at some big celebrations. To London we go, where skies were lit up around London Eye Ferris Wheel as Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament's clock tower chimed in the new year. Brits tonight calling the fireworks brilliant. And a different kind of celebration in Paris this year. Instead of the Eiffel Tower lighting up at midnight, tribute was paid to victims of the recent terror attacks. Thousands marched down the famous Champs-Élysées and watched a projected video performance to ring in the new year at the Arc de Triomphe. And to revelers in Rio, where it's summer, Copacabana was full of beach partiers. In Brazilian tradition, the crowd wears white to symbolize new beginnings for a new year. And a big celebration in Times Square means one thing, an even bigger cleanup. 178 workers will use 26 mechanical sweepers, 25 collection trucks, 38 blowers, and 40 hand brooms and others assorted street cleaning equipment to clear the area when the crowd clears. Last year, they hauled away more than 48 tons of debris. And the celebration is still going on at ABC 7 NY. There you can find a slideshow of New Year's Eve celebrations. And be sure to send us your pictures. We want to see them. Just use the hashtag ABC 7 NY 2016. Bill? Now the other news of the night, we're going to begin in Germany, where tonight they are claiming officials there ISIS was behind a terror threat that forced the evacuation of train stations in Munich. Police in Munich warning residents to stay away from the city's main train station and a second station because of, quoting now, a serious imminent threat of ISIS suicide bombers. Despite the alert, thousands of people took in the midnight fireworks show. But no fireworks tonight in the city of Rochester, where an alleged terror plot was apparently thwarted. 25-year-old Emanuel Lutchman busted in an undercover FBI sting operation. Agents claim he was talking about an attack on a restaurant in Rochester as an ISIS sympathizer. An informant says he and Lutchman together bought black ski masks, zip ties, knives, a machete, duct tape, ammonia, and latex gloves. These disaffected individuals can be anywhere and they will try to hurt people who are nearby. We have to figure out the best ways now to focus on the Internet as the means by which ISIS persuades these disaffected individuals to try and do these dastardly acts. Meanwhile, Governor Cuomo saying Lutcher became a radicalized Muslim while he served time in Attica State Prison.
No interruption of festivities in Dubai despite a major hotel fire. The blaze broke out at the luxury high rise in the city center two hours before midnight. Starting on the 20th floor, the flames quickly climbed up the 63 story tower. The world's tallest building is just blocks away where the city's New Year's fireworks display shut off on schedule. Kind of a bizarre, surreal scene there. As we continue on this New Year's Eve, tragedy striking a family from the Hudson Valley on a mountain road, a big rig, an SUV colliding on the ice. And Bill Cosby opening up to his fans tonight, but he doesn't really say much. And the Empire State Building putting on some kind of dazzling display this New Year's Eve. A perfect way to set the stage for meteorologist Amy Freeze in for Lee Goldberg with her first seven-day AccuWeather forecast for the new year. Wake up to what's new. Breaking news ahead. New details. Served up fresh. Dramatic new video. Fast. Fast moving development. We've got first live pictures. And friendly. Weather than Heather every seven minutes. Lori, Ken, Bill and Heather help you dress right. You need your rain gear all day. And get going. You can expect some delays. Wake up with a team. More New Yorkers count on. On Channel 7 I Witness News this morning. Toyota Thon, Toyota Thon, Toyota Thon rocks. With great big deals on a new set of wheels. Camry, Prius, RAV4 2. With zero percent for you. Get 0% APR for a full 60 months on a new 2016 Corolla or lease Corolla for just $149 a month and get an additional $500 Toyota Thon lease bonus cash. It's our biggest and bestest event of the year. That's why Toyota Thon rocks. Toyota, let's go places. It's unpredictable. The greatest ever has been tested. It's edge of your seat excitement. 25,000 fans have been screaming all night. It's the greatest eight seconds in sports. January 15th, 16th, and 17th. The PBR Built for Tough Series returns to Madison Square Garden for its 10th anniversary. It's the Monster Energy Buck Off at the Garden. And advanced tickets start at 25 bucks. Get them now at the Arena Box Office or Ticketmaster.com. Buckle up, New York. It's the perfect time to get the gift you've waited for all year. The CRV with rear view camera standard. Happy Honda Days end soon. Hurry in and you could get a great deal on the CRV, oh, yeah. the best selling SUV in its class. Now at your Honda dealer. That must have been some sale, Patty. Jim just had to have it. We saved big. You? Know? I had to have this. Wow. Love all of this. It lights up everything. Ah! This holiday season, see your GMC dealer and get something you really want. Now current lessees, switch to GMC and get this low mileage lease on this 2016 Acadia for around $281 per month with just the first month's payment due at signing. New at 11, heartbreak for two families on this New Year's Eve. We've learned a couple from Westchester County died in a car crash in Vermont. State police say a tractor trailer slammed into their SUV on an icy highway in Killington on Tuesday. Eyewitnesses mm. say the semi veered across the center line. Reichard and Anita Malarchek lived in Hastings on Hudson. A friend with them also died. Their three children were hurt but survived. New at 11, a message tonight from Bill Cosby, a day after his arrest on charges of sexual assault. Cosby with an uber simple tweet tonight saying only, friends and fans, thank you. Cosby free on a million dollars bond after arraignment yesterday in a court outside Philadelphia. Prosecutors say he drugged and assaulted a woman in his home back in 2004. Meanwhile, Camille Cosby trying to avoid a deposition in a lawsuit against her husband by seven alleged rape victims tonight, ordered by a judge to testify. So we've got Amy Freeze back in for Lee Goldberg, and what a mild night. Perfect night for revelers outside. It really is, and sort of follows the theme that we've had from uh, the fall into late December, mild, where temperatures yeah. have been mm -hmm. above average. So is it going to coast this night. way? I wish to say that we were going to coast into the new year the same way, but as the calendar flips, it looks like we're going to get a taste of winter coming our direction. Live looking down south into the battery, it, it, the Empire State Building looks fantastic, doesn't it? All lit up and sort of glowing and glistening. They got the light changers on. It's fantastic. And one 
World Trade uh, there in the Battery, looking like a little candle on top of the cake. 42 degrees is what we have currently in Central Park. Now, temperatures are going to drop right to the low 40s as the ball drops, and that's pretty good when you compare the numbers, especially over the long-term 30-year averages. Our normal high temperature for New Year's Eve is 39 degrees, but we've had some very cold ones, also had ones more than mild than this one. But looking at the numbers through the boroughs, low 40s, that's pretty easy to take. As we wake up tomorrow morning, the clear skies that are starting to show up will help the temperatures really bottom out. So while the numbers are mild right now, waking up tomorrow, it'll feel chilly because of the clear skies. The warmth that we've had will quickly escape the atmosphere. So we've got the normal, but here's the coldest ever, 1917, seven below, and the warmest New Year's Eve on record, 63 degrees. We're not going down in the history books, but certainly an easy one uh, to take care. Looking at the numbers past midnight, again, We'll see these numbers fall off sharply. So the overnight low for the city is 37, but we could go sub-freezing in the suburbs pretty easily. We're also dry for New Year's Eve. There's been a lot of holidays over the years where we've closed out the year with some light snow flurries or even snow. Storm-free right through the weekend. Temperatures are looking moderate, but lots of sunshine. A lot more than we've had all week. So Saturday and Sunday, really beautiful days to get out and enjoy. Then Monday comes the change. So watch the temperatures here on the future cast falling to near freezing Friday night, Saturday, struggling to get to 40 degrees. It's going to be a chilly day, but with the sun, it should feel a little better than some of the cloudy overcast days that we've had the last couple of, uh, couple of days this week. Clearing and 20s in the suburbs, 37 are overnight low. Tomorrow, 45 is the high. That's a handful of degrees above average for this time of year. And we'll take the low 40s through the weekend. I don't see any major warm-ups around, uh, but definitely one cold snap coming in for Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures will just be in the 30s. That'll be a shock to us because we have not had numbers that cold during the daytime for many months. Just a couple uh, to start off the early fall. 24 for an overnight low on Monday into Tuesday. That's not only below normal, it's also below freezing for us, and that's only happened once in and around the boroughs so far this season. So chance of some chilly air. The AccuWeather seven-day forecast does bounce the numbers back into the mid-40s by Thursday. And actually looking at the long-term averages, the jet stream will also lift back up to the north, allows the mild air back in. So by mid-month, we should be running into the mid-40s and upper 40s once again. Just a little taste of winter there on Monday and Tuesday for you. Yeah, Happy enough. New Year. That's it. You're Happy New Year, yeah. too. <laughs> well, up next, it's the biggest party of the year, but New Year's Eve can quickly turn from a night of fun into misfortune. We're going to share some tips on how to avoid a New Year's disaster. And here's another live look at Times Square from Newscopter 7, and we want to know how you're celebrating the New Year. Share your photos on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram with the hashtag ABC7NY2016. We'll be right back. captioning is sponsored by Raymore and Flanagan. For the closest location, please visit RaymoreFlanagan.com. The holidays are here, and Kia is making them more joyful than ever. Come celebrate with us and lease the sporty Optima LX for just $139 a month. Just our way of bringing even more joy to your holidays. So hurry in to your local Kia retailer before the holidays are over. What makes Gold Bond Ultimate so ultimate? It's packed with seven moisturizers, three vitamins, and 100 years of science. Rich, yet absorbs lickety split. Dry problem skin looks nourished, healed, healthy. Gold Bond Ultimate. Ultimate lotion, ultimate skin. Can a car look out for you? Can a car sense danger before you do? And even react quicker than human reflex? Can a car be your sanctuary? What's it like to drive the Hyundai Genesis? You have no idea. Lease the 2015 Hyundai Genesis for $289 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Hyundai dealer. It's that time of year again, and we're ready. Can't, can't wait. Assorted General Mills cereals, $1.99 with your card. See you there. There's still time to get in. Get bonus cash now at Nissan's holiday event.
get up to 1,000 bonus cash on top of existing offers. Get in. Before it's over, shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. Nissan, innovation that excites. The holidays are here, and Kia's making them more joyful than ever. Come celebrate with us and lease the versatile Sportage LX for only $169 a month. Just another way of bringing more joy to your holidays. So hurry in to your local Kia retailer before the holidays are over. In tonight's health alert, and boy, do we hope it's not too late to help. How to avoid accidents on New Year's Eve. Emergency rooms in New York City report more than twice as busy times on New Year's Eve than on any typical night. Guess what's the blame? That's right, alcohol. The advice from experts, space your drinks out over a long period of time. Maybe too late for that. Eat something. Don't drink on an empty stomach. And most importantly, do not drink and drive. Definitely not. Well, New York City's bike sharing program pedaling past 10 million rides for the year. The de Blasio administration says city bike ridership increased 24% in 2015. In fact, there were seven days it had more than 50,000 individual rides, including two during Pope Francis's visit in September. Our own expert two-wheeler, Laura Banky, and for Rob Powers, up next with sports. <laughs> Not even quite sure what to make of that. Uh, happy <laughs> New Year, though. Thank you. Or should we say happy bowl year? The college football postseason is heating up, and the national championship will be set tonight. We're going to check in on the Cotton and Orange Bowls as top seed Clemson look to prove they do indeed belong in the title hunt. And the Islanders, the only local team in action this New Year's Eve, and they did their best to ring in 2016 the right way. Sports is next.